Grandpa knows best here. Today I want to talk about automated home assistance and which one I use and why. Please stay tuned. Afterwards, check out my other site, Gotta Love Our Dash Cam. Thanks for staying. Automated home assistants. Everyone is talking about them. For the most part, they all do the same thing. They are great at answering questions, playing music, uh, telling you measurement conversions. They will uh, read you audio books, play podcasts, and you can make a decision by flip, flipping a coin. Tell them to pick a random number. Check on a sports score, order an Uber ride. You can set timers, alarms, make appointments. There are many games you can play. You can ask about traffic and weather, find out what movies are playing, make phone calls, order dinner, <sighs> almost anything you can imagine. And there are way too many things to mention them all here. If you have any questions, send them to me in the comments. I'll be glad to answer what I can. Now, I'm sure you know that they can turn lights on and off. But beyond that, you're not sure what they can do. And besides, you can turn your own lights on and off yourself, right? You're not lazy. But wait a minute. Are you lazy when you let your car turn on your headlights at night? Surely you have turned off that feature in your car. And you've also turned off that backup camera thingy because you can look behind you when you back up. But same thing, yes, you can turn your room lights on and off but it is safer to walk around your house with your lights already on when you need them. Back when I was a kid, I would watch the Jetsons and the future looked great, everything automated. And now finally, some of these things are coming to reality and really even better than the Jetsons had it. Flying Ubers, they're just around the corner. We even have robots to vacuum our houses. I guess you can call them Rosie the Robot. Well, Back in uh, 2007, Apple introduced the iPhone, and we all know how that changed the world forever. Then in 2010, Apple bought a voice assistant. They named it Siri and incorporated it into their devices. I was hooked. Suddenly, with my voice, I was able to make a phone call, text a message to someone, make an appointment. I could easily send an email and make a shopping list. This was so high tech, right? The future looked bright. Then in 2014, Amazon released Alexa. This was a huge step forward in automation. Apple had to play catch up and went to work on Siri to make it better. Then in 2016, Google introduced their device. Okay, Google. Now it was a three man race. Since then, they have all gotten much better because now there is strong competition. So the good news is now we have choices. Well, the bad news is now we have to choose. So the next question is, which one is right for me? There are so many factors to consider. Let me see if I can help you some. Apple was the first. And if you have an Apple phone, then you should already be using Siri on your phone or iPad. It's free, just use it. Google Assistant is said to be the smartest. It uses Google search engine to find answers, which is the most powerful search engine in the world. If you have an Android phone, OK Google is built in and hands free. Amazon works with most devices and it works with more music services. One of these assistants might stand out for you more than the others, but let me tell you what I did and why. I'm an Apple guy. Because I have an Apple phone, I use Siri. I use Siri many times a day. I tell Siri to call someone, dial a phone number I read off from a website or written on a piece of paper. I send a message to someone, read my new messages, make an appointment, invite people to that appointment. I can make and set reminders and timers. When I make an appointment on my calendar, it shows up on my Apple Watch. This is so easy to do with your Apple phone. Just set up Siri on your phone, and then when you say, Siri, call my mom, that's it. I would also use my iPhone to play music in my house through a Bluetooth speaker because the phone wasn't loud enough. Then I got an Alexa Dot. I use it to play music in my room and I didn't need the Bluetooth speaker anymore because the speaker sounds pretty good. But I wanted more. I wanted to control things in my house. 
So I did some research and looked around, but I didn't know which way to jump. The real question is really what product to jump with. There are so many different devices and they all do the same thing, but they have different pros and cons. The biggest difference is some require a hub. A hub is about a $100 device and it is used to connect some devices to your Wi-Fi, while other devices don't require a hub. I found a company uh, called iDevice. They don't need a hub. And the best part of their devices is they will work with all three assistants. So that's what I did. I decided to get an iDevice plug as my first step into the future. You download the app, set it up in your phone, name the lamp or fan, and then start using your voice to turn on that device. After that, I got a light socket. With this, I can control a light bulb. I can turn it on and off and even dim it. They make a switch that replaces the existing light switch on your wall and a plug you can mount in the wall. All of these can be turned on and off manually in case your Wi-Fi goes out or someone forgets the name of the device. But the wall switches are pricey. They're about $40 each. The devices from Amazon that work with Alexa are a lot less, like $20. Did I want to use Siri or Alexa to rock my world? So here's my thought process. With Siri, it's only your voice that will activate it. Your Siri will not respond to anyone else's voice. So someone else would have to just sit there in the dark. If someone else does say, hey Siri, your phone ignores them. Kind of like a teenager does. Plus your phone would always have to be close to you. Alexa, on the other hand, works with anyone who says the trigger word. More devices will work with Alexa, where Apple has the least number of devices. So, in my house, to turn on and off devices, I went with Alexa. Now, anyone can tell Alexa to turn the lights on and off, and she does. The more secure things, like uh, my garage door or an outside door lock, I use Siri. That way, only my account can control the locked door. I heard of a guy who set up Alexa to unlock his front door. While he was away, his neighbor stood at the front door and hollered, Alexa, open the front door. And it did. So much for security. Just keep things like this in mind when you're thinking about, you know, how you want to do it and how you want to set up your house. Since then, I have gone full blast ahead. I have an Alexa dot in every room of my house, including my garage. Since they do have a great microphone, one in the common area and one in the bedroom would cover most houses. Or you can have one on each floor. Now, I like to listen to music in the whole house. As I walk from room to room, there is no lag time and interruption. I just say, Alexa, play country music everywhere, and she does. But you may ask, what can you do with an Echo Dot? Just about whatever you can dream of. You can control a lamp so you don't have to walk across a dark room or turn it on to find your way to the bathroom after you've turned off all the lights. You can remotely control your thermostat in your house. <clears throat> you can turn lights on and off while you're away. Turn on a fan when you get hot or to cool the house down before you come in. You can use it just like your cell phone to call somebody, but you can't press the follow on digits like zero for an operator. It won't do that. You can call your cell phone if you can't find it. If you're in the kitchen, you can ask for a recipe to fix for dinner. You can whisper to it and it'll whisper back so you don't wake up others. Amazon just added guard mode. <clears throat> so now when I'm leaving, I say, Alexa, I am leaving. And she will start listening for the sound of glass break or a smoke detector. And she will email me if she hears one. She'll also give me the recording to show me what activated it. At night, she will turn different devices on and off like someone's at home. When I come home, I say, Alexa, I'm home, and she returns to normal. This is just the beginning of what you can do. If you have any questions, just comment me. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe and click the bell. Maybe tell others about Grandpa Knows Best. Thank you very much.